Hello 108 class, Mr. McCure here with you to kick off section 10.5 and we're going to go ahead and work on page 1 and we're now going to, with our logarithms, we're now are going to talk about common and natural logarithms here. Start off this section, we're going to talk about common logarithms. Okay, now you, we're getting a lot of new terminology, but common means that we see it so much in our number system of base 10. 10 to the <clears throat> 0 equals what? 1. 10 to the 1st equals 10. 10 squared equals 100. Okay, and so mathematicians decided we, since we use it so much, it's so common, that we are now going to take log base 10 result x and drop the base. You don't have to write the base if it's a 10. It's now assumed to be there. Okay. So now all of a sudden it's gone. What <clears throat> we're going to have to remember is if you see log x, say log 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 of uh, oh my god. Excuse me. Log base 10 result x or x equals what okay and re equals result is what you got there okay so common definition common means it's base 10 we're not going to write the base with it we're going to assume that's what it is okay once you know that you see a problem like log of 1000 what are they telling you to do put the 10 in for the base drop it down say the base raise to the result uh, raise to the exponent which we don't know equals the result. All right, so what did I do? I dropped the base raised to the exponent equals the result. And of course, 10 raised to the what equals 1,000? The answer is 3. Okay? And of course, you can see up here, if I see, of course, we know that 10 to the third equals 1,000. You can see the pattern. Everything's getting a factor of 10 bigger. As you're going down, 10 to the fourth is 10,000. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and look at objective one. They tell us to evaluate here. I like to go to graphing here, and so we're going to take a function of a common log, the basic one, the parent one, f of y, f of x equals log x. Okay, what are we saying here? Convert this. f of x is the y variable equals log base 10 result x. Okay, I like to say those words over and over again because now I convert it. I convert it to what? base 10 raised to the exponent equals the result. Okay, I hope everybody has been hearing those words and you're drilling them in your head. For me, we're dealing with logarithms, that's just the best way for me to remember that basic definition of what logarithms are. And what you're doing here is converting from logarithms to exponent format, exponential format. Notice here, this is equivalent to the beginning of the problem. I just transposed it so we can work with this. Okay, so what are we going to do with it? Something to keep in mind now. Look at the input. It's easier to do the input as y because you're taking a base raised to the y. So here's the process. I'll see p for process. 10 raised to the y equals the output. Okay, now the tricky part of this is this is how we're doing these, but when you write your ordered pair, it's always what? x comma y. So you got to watch that. So take your first example. Pick the couple points. Negative 2 in for y. 10 raised to the negative 2 is equivalent to 1 over 10 squared, which is 1 over 100. Ordered pair was 1 one hundredth comma negative 2. Okay, does everybody see that switch? Don't forget that. Okay, now that you get the idea down, you're going to keep plotting points. We're going to find something interesting here. What happens if you take a base, any number raised to the zero power always equals 1? Okay, we've gone over that before. 10 raised to anything raised to the zero power equals 1. Now, for me, that's a little counterintuitive, and I think I showed that way back many videos ago about. Um, when I dealt with negative exponents. I explained and proved to you that anything raised to the zero power equals 1. Okay, so here we go. Put negative, negative 1 in for y. 10 raised to the negative 1 is 1 over 10th. Ordered pair x. 1 tenth y, negative 1. Here we go. y equals 0. 10 to the 0 equals 1. Ordered pair 1 comma 0. Now, look how quickly. Look at this. I call this the elbow point. This is a point where look at the values. When y was negative 2, negative 1, look at the fractions. 
one hundredth, one tenth. If I had put negative three in here, it would be one over a thousandth. You would quickly get very small fractions. As soon as you take numbers like ten to the first, ten to the second, you're getting your your exponents getting ten. You get a hundred. Ten to the third would be a thousand. These graphs move very quickly. What I mean by that here is I start to plot these points here. Here's the elbow point. Find that first. That's one comma zero. Um, down here, next one it was one one tenth on the x comma negative one on the y. Over here, uh, when it was y was negative two, it was one one hundredth negative two. Okay, very quickly, and you will never. This is called the asymptote line here. The x-axis, excuse me, not x-axis. I apologize. The y-axis is the asymptote where um, x equals zero. Okay, it will never come down, and it will never cross there. Okay, it will never do it. Now, look what happens over here. You're going the other point. Ten to the first was ten, comma one would have been right here. Okay, now I ran out of space in my graph. 10 squared is 100, so I'd have to go all the way over to 100 and only go up to two units. So it's a very, very slow, slow incremental increase up here going that way. Okay, so interesting to see those graphs, and um, that's what we all we got here for page one to jumpstart this section. So kind of think about this one last comment before I say goodbye here. I got um, notice how quickly I've talked about this, but when you are um, above increase when a y is greater than zero when you're above the x-axis is what I want you to see here the x-axis here kind of like in it kind of a, a tipping point and that's where the elbow points at when you are below the x-axis then you have got when y is less than zero it did their values decrease very quickly you come down here for negative three it's one over a thousand okay okay Mr. McHugh that's it I'm gonna sign off for now check mark on uh, page one I'll see you for page two, and we are going to work with uh, uh, more, more. Um, oh, calm. Yeah, excuse me. We're going to work more with logs here. Got to use our calculators a little bit. Natural logarithms. Okay. Take care. I'll see you then. Bye.